Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. Today we're going to be playing Zombies, Monsters, and Robots, also known as ZMR. Now, ZMR has PvP and PvE. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description to a video that shows off PvP a lot better than I can. Because PvP is not my strong suit, and I definitely don't like to actually go inside PvP inside of this game. Because as, as the videos I've seen, people are like really professional in these videos, inside of these, um, PvP battles, so I normally stay in the PvE aspect of the game, and the PvP aspect of the game is like really fun. So what I'm gonna do is try to find a room. Now you have story mode and boss rush, and you have your basic training. I'll show off the other stuff right after we're done, but at the moment I'm gonna go with a normal match and see how it goes. Alright, we're getting into a match now, but the game does have a lot to offer. It has all kinds of different modes for PvE and PvP. So you guys can go check out the PvP if you're really competitive and like to play against other players. Or you can check out PvE, which has a lot of stuff in it. Like boss raids and, you know, like missions and all that. You guys can check that out yourself. They even have a survival that's sort of like Call of Duty Zombies in a way. Hopefully we can get inside the match, um... And I don't know what I'm looking at right now, but I'm in. All right, I gotta remember my controls. I headshot at that guy. Oh yeah, your reloading is also time-based. So I used to play this game a lot because it was just that fun. It sort of did remind me of Warframe a lot. Well, this is actually a game I played way before Warframe. Warframe just kind of replaced this game for me. Oh god. Now there are kinds of, um, like different weapons such as such as shotguns, crossbows, uh, I think combat bows too. And you can find ammo around the uh, map. And if you reload on time, you actually get golden bullets that do more damage. You guys should pick up bullets around the map too. I'm reloading. I have a good spot right here too. That guy is gonna keep hiding. Now, I am out of ammo. I gotta go find an ammo crate, which is all around the map. When you're running, it locks your screen, by the way. And I have a little drone following me. Alright, let's pick up some ammo. Everybody seems to be on this side. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of dots on the map. Any enemies. I'm gonna go back to my little side, uh, little spot. As you can see, we're doing pretty well. We're only on round two so far. Oh my god, who is that guy? I've. Some of these enemies I've never seen before, and I don't know what they do, so I don't really plan on finding out. Seems like I might. You can actually pick up different weapons inside of there, so if you hate your weapon, you can just pick up a different one. Now the thing is, if we can get them on this side, we can actually use that turret and take them out a lot faster. That one's down. Oh god. That was like such a delay on reloading. Fresh 
We'll just throw a grenade. Hey, out of my face. Seems like he's trying to go down this trench here. I'm addicted to reloading it, apparently. Kind of wondering how well I'm doing compared to everybody else. Let's see. Alright, everybody's still ahead of me. Where's the other guy? Alright. Everybody's still alive so far. Uh, oh, uh, I thought that was a gun. Now the uh, mechanics to like hiding and crouching behind the walls is kind of like uh, watchdogs, which is eh, kind of questionable because you can't like push C and oh god, because space is for every like action, for rolling, for getting behind walls, and for bouncing over walls. All right. All right, character, can you jump out? Thank you. I wish I could get up there, but my character just... This is the problem I... I was talking about. Everything being, like, space-oriented. So... There we go. Took me quite a while. But once you figure out the controls and everything, or remember the controls if you revisit the game, it's actually pretty simple. take a sniper I I suck it I suck so bad at, at this game in sniping that is my sniping skills are not on point trust me <laughs> but you can actually be inside of these Clear instances the for quite a Get while those guards and set those charges Satchel charges around the radio tower. The hell? Alright, got that guy. Okay, character, come on. Now you can customize your guns as well. Like add on little um, stocks Radio and everything and sights. Not sure if it actually changed the actual crosshair or anything, but hey. Hey, what the? I'm so confused. Uh, I I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know what just happened there. Oh god. Why is he taking all day to reload? Jesus. But last I check, I have a crap ton of revival coins. For some reason the recording stopped and like halfway through. I don't know why, but it just did. I don't know where my teammate is, but he's around here somewhere. There's a tank on the other side. Okay, hello there. 
The enemy has armored support. Take but cover. we have more players in that now, armor is too and I'm gonna continue on. You can hit the exhaust pipe in the rear. You can do some damage. But like I was saying at the beginning of the game, which was probably like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh God, please don't come near me. There are some really unique enemies in here. In, well, in this game, you see they have like little spiders. If you kill them, they like explode or release some kind of toxic gas that can slowly kill you. And as you can see, your loading is actually on like a time bar. If you get it right, as your um, as your get the reloading right you get um golden bullets which does extra damage and where's our teammate all right i guess he left oh rip is this guy gonna pop up again So there's all kinds of different guns you can pick up and, you know, use them as your uh, disposal. Let's go around and say hello to these guys. Hey guys. Just walking through. Don't mind me. But the controls are a little bit weird as you start out the game, so I do recommend... Oh god, hello. Hey buddy, come... Fight me! Oh god, don't fight me. Fight me! Oh god, don't fight me. Fight me. Fire in the hole. All jammed up. Um, is it dead? Oh dear god. Good well, work. Keep it had more, one more shot to uh, hit me with, so... I guess that answers my question. Kind of uh, angry that I lost all that good footage. I'm just sitting here talking to myself without recording at the time. But we're recording again, so it's all good. That's not the last of their tanks. Oh God! Nope. Kind of go around. Oh. Hello. So this is the final boss, pretty much. Here, have a grenade. Oh, there's some enemies. Yeah, there are enemies over there. Oh, I'm out of bullets in that gun. Fight me. I think that tank's done for. Oh god, I didn't even notice you were there. Up, 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 oh god, oh god. I need to take cover somewhere. Cause this is just ridiculous. Alone? Can I just not sit here and recover? <laughs> Jeez. Now, as you start the game, you get like three free, free coins. But as you lose those three, um, sub, like revive coins, you start using your own coins, which are called the uh, silver coins. I don't know what that guy was doing. He was just dancing everywhere. What the? What? What? Oh, it's you! Leave me alone! That really should not be hitting me. Guys, leave me be. But I'm pretty sure... Good work! 
he just destroyed the last one. Yep, guys. That's pretty much it. I died three times out of this whole game. Jesus. Alright, so I do apologize that it had, like, stopped in the middle of, like, recording. Then I had to pretty much start it up again. I don't know why. Like, eight minutes in, it just, like, stopped out of nowhere. So when I first realized it, I was just like, wait, wasn't I recording at first? But apparently I probably, like, pushed my stop recording button by accident instead of trying to push, like, no F8. When everything's, like, F9 to revive all your teammates, so... Yeah, that's my bad. So, but you guys pretty much got like a little taste of how PvE goes inside of the game. It's just pretty much survive until the end or pretty much use your coins as you die. I used all three of my survival coins. So, there's like daily coins that you get like, hold on. Uh, does it pop up again? Yeah, there you are. If you can see like the whole one up times three you get three coins as you start into that place so as you use up those three lives you have to start using from your own private stash which are your silver coins which i can show you guys in my locker somewhere where is it is it in my locker or somewhere else it's in here somewhere i'll find it all right i found it uh, pretty much have 120 silver coins which is pretty much just my life's so I can keep like reliving and reliving over and over again. And you got all kinds of different costumes and everything. You have the shop and everything that gives you like that gives you like bonus stats and you can even unlock special weapons. And you can actually buy them with gold, but you're gonna have to put in a lot of hard work to get all that much. So I wanted to see you guys farming out there if you're gonna actually aim for it. As for costumes and everything, you have these little like coupons, which I forgot well, yeah, rep. I guess that's what it's called, reputation. That you can actually use to buy different costumes or if they're, like, on sale right now. I'm pretty sure there's weapons you can buy, too. Not many things you can buy with rep. But some of them are actually pretty good. Oops, I hit my mic. Then there's VIP where you can test out stuff, like, really early. Now, I can easily buy this if I had VIP on. Which is pretty much membership, I believe. I mean, what else would you think if it said that? And then there's Showdown where I'm pretty sure this is where you get early access to things. Pretty sure VIP is just you get to try out this stuff for free. And sh Showroom is pretty much things that aren't in the game yet, I guess? I don't know. I don't actually remember everything about this game. I, I do apologize, guys. I'm not the best at, like remembering a lot of things about a game like everything but that's pretty much all i remember about the shop but we're gonna open some stuff uh we have this we can use wait is that our okay we have to be level 10 what level am i level 8 now we do have xp ups and pretty sure we got something else there it is now there are these things called silver bullets and golden bullets i'm pretty sure there's different kinds of bullets than um, the silver and gold but as you use them you have chances of getting weapons or other things like that see I just got a permanent gun now there's mostly like revival coins in here too and then I just got that I don't know what that is you can reveal all of them but I'm pretty sure that costs you EMP now you have a microphone where you can shout out and everything. I just got this new gun that I'm going to equip. Unless this is a gun I already have. No? No, it's not. Ah. Huh. Oh, it's a secondary. Alright. Not half bad, not half bad. Is it like supposed to pop up on my back or something? Yeah, it does. It actually looks pretty nice. I like it. As for this, I can just switch that out and use that one instead of instead of the other one. But your loadouts, you have your handgun as well and your grenades, which you can actually change. Why am I pushing all kinds of random things? And then you can have all your power-ups and stuff to help you out. They have all kinds of different things like 
you have drones and mechs. Mechs are for different type of missions, for like mech missions like... Uh, I don't remember the uh, map's name, but there are some like maps to where there needs where there needs to be mechs and you would probably play with mech through the whole mission. Or there would be some where mechs are required just for that certain section. Then you have drones that follow you around and pretty much fight with you and you can put in different cards. This is the card I just got. Okay. Cannot equip. I guess it's not for this drone. Hmm. That sucks. Pretty sure I just equipped those. Can I... Alright, so I guess more plasma equals more abilities and leveling up your drone to actually fight with you. So, yeah, that's the thing. I'm so sorry if I this is like a terrible like revisit because... To be honest, I was actually really thinking hard if I wanted to revisit this game a, lo a lot, but now that I actually play it, eh, I kind of have mixed feelings about it at the moment. But I'm going to show you guys uh, pretty much all the modes you have. Here are all the modes you have and everything that you can do. All of them have different type of maps. So, yeah. You actually create your own room and invite your friends and everything. You guys can just roll right through it. But I'm going to end it here, guys, before I keep rambling, rambling on. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, you do have clans, but they're called corporations. So, yeah. So if you want to start like a clan with your buddies, then go right ahead. And here are all your daily missions and everything. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, do make sure to check out the game. It's really fun, but I do recommend you play with friends. Because this game can actually get pretty crazy when people start, like, leaving in the middle of it. You know? That actually happens quite a lot. So, yeah. Especially if they run out of coins or something. You, you just can't stop it. It's When you run out of coins, you run out of coins. But that's the thing. Your friends can revive you depending on how many coins they have. So if that guy had um, that we were playing with had stayed in, uh, I would have been able to revive him because I have like a hundred ups, so I could have easily brought him back. But I didn't die at the time. You can only bring back your teammates if you're dead. So yeah, just to pretty much keep you from wasting it just on him, I guess. I mean, you're still pretty much using your coins either way it goes, but still. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Peace out.